Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's be- In a part of all that dimension, an extremely incredible power had appeared. However, in a few seconds it had disappeared again. That's right, the power of Toa had been felt by all the fallen kings, and it would call the attention of Yamoshi, who would change his expression to a very serious and cold one. The power that was felt a few seconds ago was an incredible power. Even with my maximum power, I don't know if I could defeat that power. Is something wrong? Your work has changed completely! No, it's nothing to worry about. But you must become much more powerful. The power that you now possess is comparable to that of a guardian angel. That's not enough. We must break all our limits to be able to finish off all the bastards who made fun of us. At that moment in Goku's mind, he was able to observe Xenosama. That's right, out of the dimension, Xenosama had used some mental power to contact Goku. Friend Goku, I know you must hate me now, but you don't want anything to do with me, and you really had no choice. I feel like scum for doing this to you. My friend Zeno, but tell me, what happened? Why did you do all this? What do you mean you had no choice? Above us, there are the kings of everything who have been able to take their power to the limit. But even above them, there are the creator gods, which are also divided into scales of power. Are you implying that a creator god has given the order to finish us off? That's right, and if we refuse it, they would destroy all the 12 universes. I'm so sorry, my friend. For that reason, I've decided to abandon 75% of all my power. Only you can finish with the new enemies that are approaching. Despite being in another dimension, a power would begin to enter all over Goku's body. That's right, Goku's power was growing rapidly. Even with Xenosama's power, Goku was able to access his Ozaru form without the need of his tail. But while he was in transition, his tail would appear. That's right, Goku was destroying everything around him. However, he was able to observe Xenosama in the middle of all his destruction. My friend Goku, I trust you with my power. I'm so sorry, you only deserve to be a king at all. Goku in that instant would regain consciousness by accessing the Super Saiyan Phase 4, but his hair was an angelic silver color, giving Yamoshi and Jiren surprised, since Son Goku's power had increased in an amazing way. Goku's power has increased too much. I can't even calculate it. But with that power, he's capable of defeating a king in his fighting form. Goku in that instant would throw a great sphere of energy towards Jiren. That's right, Xenosama, knowing that he was with Goku, had also sent some power to Jiren. Not as much as to Goku, but Jiren in the same way began to increase his power in such an incredible way that it would make everything around him tremble. That's right, the power that he was releasing was equally amazing. Unlike Goku, Jiren was not having any transformation in his body, was dominating all that power. However, he was becoming much slower because of the excess energy. The power is incredible but I feel as heavy as a planet, and since I don't have the ability to transform, it's much more difficult. You don't have to worry about that, since that's what I'm training them for. I don't know where they got so much power from, but it's time to start training beyond a king at all. The three subjects began to have a great battle, which was capable of shaking some territories of the other kings. Meanwhile, with Toa, she was training in the same way to be able to dominate all the power of that energy. This power is incredible, so this is the power of a creator god. I'll finish with those damn trash. You're not ready yet. Believe it or not, the being that killed my body was that damned Yamoshi. He's not lying when he said that he had all the creator gods were afraid of his power. Is his power even capable of killing a creator god? That's right. The power of that saying is difficult to understand, despite fighting for hours, days, Weeks. His power, instead of decreasing, increased as the battle went on. This time it'll be very different. I'll do it for you, Master. And also out of pride, I'll not forgive you for the beating you gave me last time. If you really want to do it, you must take your body to the limit. Because with the power you have now, 
Yamoshi is still able to finish you without any effort. Toe at that moment would continue training knowing that he still lacked the power to be able to make the Saiyan King bite the ground. Returning to the trio of subjects, Goku and Jiren with their new power, they were already able to face Yamoshi. That's right, Yamoshi despite using his maximum power at his base state, was difficult keeping up with both of them. What's wrong? Is all that power of a Saiyan King? Jiren would be a little surprised by Goku's words because even though he had increased his power too much, there was still no match for Yamoshi in one-on-one -on -one combat. I can see by possessing all that beastly power, you think you can defeat me, but let's see what you think of this. Yamoshi at that moment would begin to increase his power in an incredible way, making everything around him tremble. Yamoshi's power was even perceived by the other fallen kings. The moment Yamoshi was accessing 50% of his glorious power, that's right, at that instant Yamoshi's hair would turn a silver color as well as his eyes which would leave Goku and Jiren surprised to realize that Yamoshi had access to Ultra Instinct. You should feel lucky, since I was the one who created the Ultra Instinct. In short, my Ultra Instinct is the original one. Goku would be very surprised to hear what Yamoshi said. Goku and Jiren, without caring about what Yamoshi said, would throw themselves against him, but this time the difference in their powers was as big as the sky and the earth. That's right, Goku and Jiren, despite having all that great power, this time were not able to do what Yamoshi said. This time, they were not able to make a scratch on Yamoshi, who after a few hits would leave them wounded on the ground. Goku, despite having the Ultra Instinct in his transformation from Super Saiyan Phase 4, was not able to dodge all of the blows of Yamoshi. That's all for today. Your powers are growing exponentially fast, so you should take a break and get your energy up. Goku Jiren would begin to rest that day. Meanwhile, outside that dimension, Ryui was very desperate because for a being that was lost omnipotence, it was worse than losing their life. Damn it! If I'm not able to do something, I'll be left without my omnipotence. I have to hurry up on this. I think it's time to absorb all those damned ones. Meanwhile, with Zeno-sama, he was very worried because he had a bad feeling about Ryui. Die. I want you to store 90% of your power in that sphere of divine energy. But sir... If I do that, I won't have enough power to be able to defend us. Even if you have 100% of your power, you'll never be able to confront Ryui. Trust me, Daishenken. All right, my lord. Whatever you say. At that moment, Daishenken would begin to empty all his veins of energy, passing 90% of all his power to the sphere that the king had told him. After only 10 minutes of having finished, Ryui would appear in the kingdom of the whole. Ryui-sama, what's the reason for your visit in the multiverse? They have excellent subordinates, but now that they have finished with that plague, they're no longer useful to me. I'll keep their powers. Ryui would throw himself against Daishenken, starting a battle which clearly showed who had the advantage. At the moment, both Guardians would launch an attack and both Xenosamas, with the power they have left, would merge and access to their form of combat. All were fighting against a single subject, but the result would be the same. So it is, from one moment to another, Ryui would begin to give some great blows to each one of those present, leaving them on the verge of death. Before they die, I want to keep all their powers. I'll create the world that everyone wants. I'll finish with the creator gods and I'll access the Sheikah Galaxy, place of the true gods and not beings like you. Ryui at that moment would begin to absorb the power of each one of those present. Nevertheless, while Ryui absorbed Xenosama, Daishenken would communicate with all the gods telepathically. Gods, I know at this moment all you possess in negative energy, but you must trust us. Abandon all your power and explode, because if you don't, Ryu will kill you and end your power. And Father, will we do the same, or is our destroyer gods? All of you, create an energy spheres with a meeting point in the realm of all. My energy being more powerful than yours will absorb it and search for a worthy warrior. Understood, father. In this instant, we'll do it. Ryuji at that moment had finished the life of Xenosama, and his guardians at the moment of heading towards Daishenken was also filling all his spiritual sea, thanks to the power of Daishenken. However, before Daishenken remained, if his valuable energy would curse him and affirm that an extremely powerful subject would avenge them. Ha ha ha! No one has enough power to face me. Now it's time to absorb all the gods and angels. 
The moment really began to move all through the universes. Every god would begin to explode. That's right, the gods had fulfilled Daishinkin's last order. Damned priest, they don't believe that because you don't have the power of simple gods and angels you'll be able to defeat me. There are more multiverses and temporal lines. Ryu Furious would rise to the top of that multiverse, creating a great attack, which would have enough power to erase all the multiverse of Xenosama. That's right, a gigantic megaversal explosion was able to be appreciated by all the other kings as a whole. After millions of years, a megaversal explosion has happened again. Who was the guy that had enough power to blow up the entire multiverse? The annihilation of a multiverse? Has a creator god awakened? The other kings would not give any comment on the matter. Meanwhile, returning to the dimension, Goku, who was meditating, at that moment would fall to the ground to his base state. That's right, he felt like an incredible power was crushing him, and he was right. The power of the high priest, the twelve angels, and the twelve gods was entering his body. Yamoshi at that instant would quickly approach Goku, but Goku's body began to expel rays of energy, and at that very moment began to expel an extremely impressive power, leaving all the fallen kings surprised, which would be surprised by the power they felt. What's happening, Goku? It is the power beyond a king, but it's too early. Goku would continue to increase his power like never before, accessing the Ultra Institute again, but this time, his power was so much that it would make even Yamoshi tremble. Goku's body was releasing an incredible power. So much that even the dimension of the Fallen Kings was shaking like never before. At that moment, Yamoshi would increase his power to the maximum, accessing the legendary transformation, which was capable of supporting all his bestial power. Yamoshi at that moment would throw himself against Goku, hugging him tightly. Goku, Goku, Goku! React! Don't keep raising your power like that, because if you continue, your body won't be able to support it, and it'll explode, so stop it! Goku, without listening to everything that Yamoshi would say, he would continue raising all his power. That's right, Goku was in a trance mode, which was not able to react. Yamoshi, at that moment, would give him a blow with all his power, but to his surprise, Goku would be able to stop his blow with only one of his hands and without any effort. Don't think that you're talking to an amateur. I know the capacity my body, and it's capable of withstanding this and much more. Have you come to your senses, Goku? Then stop it. Even those amounts of energy are staggering to me, and I wouldn't control them without paying a high price. Goku, unheeding, would continue to accumulate all his power until a huge explosion could be seen in Goku's body, which was still in the Ultra Instinct. But something to differentiate was the incredible pressure that emanated from it. That's right, Goku had been able to control the power of both Xenosamas, Daishenken, and all the other deities of the universe. However, all the power he possessed was not only for Goku, since at that moment all the power of the Destroyer Gods would enter Jiren beginning in the same way to increase his power in an amazing way. Not as much as Goku's, but his power had shot up. That is, he would be compared to the Jiren of some days ago. And with Jiren that absorbed the power of all the gods, the current Jiren would fight with three Daishenkens and defeat them without any difficulty. That is, in the same way his power had reached a level that hardly a mortal or even a god could be able to reach. Mortal of Universe 11 it was never our intention to finish with you, but they were orders from above, and that same guy finished with us, so all the gods trust you with our power. I trust you, Jiren. Prove that you're the being that goes beyond a god destroyer. Jiren at that moment would create a great explosion all over the place, destroying everything in its path. That's right, it'd be much more complicated for Jiren to dominate all the power of the Twelve Gods, but he would succeed. After such an incredible explosion, Jiren could be observed, which was now able to use the destructive energy, protruding from his body the signs of a super god destroyer. That's right, Jiren was able to surpass a normal god destroyer. His power is incredible, and he'll be able to possess the power to finish with the cursed one who sent for our heads. We possess all the power of the Twelve Universes. That's right, Jiren. No matter who our enemy is, he won't be able to defeat us. Meanwhile, with Toa, she had already mastered all the power that this energy had given her. However, the energy at that moment materialized, giving the silhouette of a man. 
Pua. Now you must train more than ever, since the power that both subjects have attained is compared to a creator god of the lowest level. How is it possible that those two mere mortals have attained the power of a creator god? This has to be a bloody nightmare. Although it may seem like a nightmare, it is reality. The power of these two guys would even be able to give me a few scratches. Master, are you still able to defeat them? Of course I am. They are at the beginning of a creative power, compared to me, who has been in the creative world for millions of years. It would not be so difficult to finish them both. It would be better to finish with them right now, because if we let them increase their power, they would be much more dangerous. You are right, Toa, but you will have to do it yourself. Because if the other creator gods feel my power, they will finish me quickly, and I don't want to attract their attention. Why do you say that, Master? Can't you finish them with your base power? Indeed, Toa. With my base power, it would be too complicated for me, and if I release a little of my creative essence, I will be able to call the attention of the other beings. I understand, Master. Don't worry, I will finish with both subjects. I have entrusted you with a part of my power, but not reaching the creative ground, your essence is null, so you can use all that power that I have entrusted you, but do not trust, because the power is great. Returning to both warriors, both would begin to meditate because despite not causing damage with their powers, they felt the body extremely heavy. So it is, and this in the battle would be a great disadvantage. So both decided to meditate to regain their speed and even increase it. Meanwhile, out of the dimension, Xenosama's multiverse was in a complete chaos because there was no divine being to govern it correctly. That's right, after only one week after all the divine beings had died at the hands of Ryui, Xenosama's multiverse would explode, leaving no one alive. At that moment, Mikoshin would realize the annihilation of the entire multiverse. This is bad! If a multiverse has fallen, this can happen to any other multiverse! If it'll be better to inform the Queen of Fire, since she's the most powerful among all the kings of everything! Mikoshin at that moment would begin to fly through all the multiverses, and being a queen of everything, she would have enough power to cross the dimensional barriers without any difficulty. Meanwhile, in a very distant place, we can observe Ryui, who was sitting on his throne with a serious look since he was very thoughtful. Damn it! If I had absorbed the power of all those gods, my power would have risen much higher. But they were able to discover my intentions. At that moment, Ryui was able to perceive how the queen of the whole Mikoshin was heading towards another multiverse. Apparently, with the explosion of Xenosama's multiverse alerting the mighty Mikoshin, she apparently plans to ally herself with the realm of relentless fire. Meanwhile, returning to the two mortals who had overcome the power beyond the power of a king, they had already mastered all their power, since in that dimension, time passed in a very different way from the dimension from which they came. That is, that dimension they had already spent approximately 10 years, while outside the dimension, only 5 days had passed. In that moment, both warriors would stand up, starting to collapse the whole dimension. That is, in that same instant, hundreds of planets, galaxies would be created and at the same time destroyed each other. Although both controlled their power, it was almost impossible for them to repress it completely. This is incredible. The power of both of them has risen in an incredible way. I don't think I'll be able to defeat them both at the same time. Yamoshi, we're ready to leave this miserable place. We're counting on you to return to the real world. At that moment, two more warriors would appear in front of everyone. Damn it. I knew you guys were watching us somehow. You better leave or I'll kill each one of you right now. The two warriors that appeared were also kings of great power that had been sealed in that place hundreds of years ago. You must not boast a power which we all have long since surpassed. You were the most powerful fallen king of all, but now your power is diminished in a great way. That's right. You don't have the overwhelming power of before. Or maybe we only have become more powerful. I hope you're prepared for the day of your death. Yamoshi at that moment would increase his power, however Goku and Jiren would stand in front of Yamoshi. This would be excellent to test our new powers, so you don't have to worry. 
That's right! We're now the most powerful than you, Mimoshi, and it's our turn to protect you! No, they're not normal warriors that you can face. They have millions of years of more experience than you. Too late. We'll knock them unconscious and finish you off. Then we'll force them to form the portal to get out of this miserable place. That's right. Both guys have the energy of a creator god in their veins, but their power's too weak. But with that little amount is enough to get out of this place. Goku and Jiren at that moment would observe each other and giving a big smile, both would disappear at lightning speed. That's right at that very moment, two great battles never before felt in the whole dimension of the kings was developing. At one point, Goku was able to give a sneaky blow to Yakua, who would fall to the ground, but the power was so much that it would have been dragged a few meters. At that moment, Yakua, furious at the same way, would recover from such a furative blow, being able to give a great blow to the Saiyan. However, at that time, which of Goku had disappeared again, that's right, the speed that Goku possessed at this moment was incredible. Meanwhile, with Ryota and Jiren, both were very even. Well, that was what Ryota believed, since from one moment to another, Jiren would attack, increasing his power, and would create a great fire attack. However, this attack was different, since the power of fire was unreal. Besides mixing the particles in his ki, this creating divine fire. Great flames of fire would be seen to be all over the place. Ryota at that moment would increase his power to the maximum to create a barrier with all his ki. However, the power of fire was so much that it even cracked the barrier of a super king altogether. What the hell's going on? How can this bastard who barely surpassed king level have all this power? I thought you'd be a great challenge, but you don't have the power to make me fight for real. I only need 34% of all my power. Don't say stupid things, and I swear I'll end your pathetic life. Ryota at that instant would take his energy to the limit. So much was his increase that even his body began to pay the consequences of accessing a power which he didn't fully master. Bloody Spirit Mar! Divine Soul of the King Massacre! At that moment, inside Ryota's body, all his key veins began to pass much more power. Even the base of all of the key began to go so crazy that such a power Ryota was increasing, Jiren would begin to observe how Ryota's body was expelling large amounts of blood. With the activation of that technique, you have sealed your fate. You won't be able to endure it for long. Meanwhile, with Goku's battle, he had also forced Yakua to use the king's divine soul which at that moment was also increasing his power in a very amazing way. At the end, you can observe both warriors who apparently had not changed at all, but at the moment of walking towards them, their footsteps were sinking in the ground, demonstrating the weight of their whole body. At that moment, Ryota, in spite of all the heavenly power that he possessed, would move at a great speed, giving him a great blow to Jiren. But great was his surprise when Jiren had been able to dodge it. I hope you're prepared, simple mortal. I'll end your pathetic life. I'm not interested in being locked up for the rest of my life. I want to see if you have the power to back up your words. Go Goku at that moment would stare at Yakuya, who, undeterred by the cold presence of the Saiyan, would launch an attack. That's right, however the result would still be the same. This is something that if I wasn't seeing it from my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. Two warriors who have just been promoted to king level are able to face two experts. The battle of the four warriors were in a great destructive point where everything around them was involved in lightning, fire, and even tidal waves. However, after only 10 minutes of battle, the body of both kings was reaching its limit. That is, they were not able to keep up with both warriors. As all their energy as the battle progressed was decreasing contrary to the energy of both warriors, which at every moment of the battle was increasing. That's right, what both warriors needed was to have much more experience in the territory of a king. So facing two subjects which surpassed that power was perfect for them. After seven more minutes of battle, the body of both gods would expel a large amount of blood. That's right, their bodies could no longer withstand the power beyond the kings. At the time of deactivating their techniques, their power would drop in an amazing way. That's right, the power beyond a king had left their bodies with no energy at all. Well, well, what a miserable fate. Without the need for us to end their lives, they'll die, since all their energy veins are totally destroyed. So, bloody spiritual sea. What a striking name. Now, die in their blood, simple cowardly kings who don't have the power to back up their words. 
At the moment both subjects to move away, Yamoshi would throw them a great energy sphere finishing with the life of both kings. That's right, since in that state it was preferable to death. You have achieved great power, but you must not lose your humanity, because if you lose that, you'll lose everything. However, at that precise moment, a gigantic power would be felt all over the place. That's right, the power of a true king was causing havoc in the whole dimension. Even a powerful aura would rise into the sky. Planets, galaxies, and dimensions themselves were cracking from the power that would be perceived. This power is incredible. I never knew of the existence of a fallen king with such power. At that moment, even Jiren and Goku were astonished. A great shadow would move at the speed of lightning. But unlike Goku and Jiren, a blood red lightning could be seen. At that moment, that powerful lightning had been able to send Yamoshi to fly far from that place. And at that moment, a woman would appear in front of everyone. Who are you? And how is it possible for you to master all that power? Your key is extremely great, but I feel like I know you from somewhere. Now you will be my food. Not even the legendary King Yamoshi has the power to face me. I currently possess the power of a creator god. Yamoshi, upon receiving such a furtive blow, would return quickly, realizing the power of that powerful queen. That's right, Yamoshi was the only one who quickly knew who it was, since both had fought for dozens of times. I can't believe the way you look now, Toa. You used to be the most beautiful queen of all. That's what you forced me to do. After interfering in my hunt for those bastards. You understand that I couldn't let you absorb warriors of my own race. Don't worry, since in this place, and now I will absorb them all to go to the other world and be reunited with their pathetic race. Toa at that moment would pounce against the three warriors, who would quickly get on guard. However, the power that Toa had achieved was extremely incredible, being able to grant excellent blows to each one of the warriors. But he had not finished his attack since that moment, he would launch a great fire attack, similar to the one that Jiren used before. That bitch was watching the battle all the time, so long that she was even able to create a technique similar to mine. Your blows have been able to cause me some damage. I hope you're prepared. As well as you, we'll have to increase our power. Goku, Jiren, and Yamoshi, who at that moment began to raise their power in an incredible way, making the whole dimension rumble. So much was their power that they even released the dimension began to crack little by little. Even their key was filtering through the cracks that were being created. Meanwhile, outside the dimension, the powerful Ryui would feel that power which, despite being very minimal, would make him shudder. What is this power? It's almost null, but in spite of that, it's still able to cause me incredible fear. At that moment, when Mikoshin was about to arrive at the realm of the Queen of Fire, a sensation of death was able to be felt in the whole space. However, she wasn't able to feel the power since she was far away from Xenosama's multiverse. What is the sensation of death I feel? Something very bad is about to happen, so I must warn all the other kings urgently. Returning to the battlefield, the four warriors were having a great battle. However, every moment that the battle progressed, Toa's power instead of decreasing was increasing in a great way. Toa, don't be confident. Despite possessing my seemingly unlimited energy reserves, everything has an end. So don't overdo it and save Key. As you command, sir. I promise I'll bring him back to life. I trust you, Toa. I have given you a great part of my spiritual power, so that you'll be able to defeat the three pillars of this world. Toa would continue with her great battle, but at that moment, Goku and Jiren would increase their power even more, putting to her in serious trouble. You two entertain her. By using my Ultra Instinct, I don't have the unlimited reserves that I have in my legendary transformation. We'll risk everything in this battle. Goku and Jiren at that moment were pushing their bodies to their limits. That's right, with the power they were able to force Toa to take them seriously, since the damage he was receiving was great. Damn mortals, with a little bit of power, I swear that today will be their death. Toa at that moment would throw a great sphere of destructive energy, with which he had planned to finish the both warriors. But great was his surprise when he realized how his power was being retained. That's right, Goku and Jiren had created a great attack, which had the same power of Toa's power. Hurry up, Yamoshi! We can't take it anymore! 
At that moment, both attacks would explode, starting to exchange blows again. Meanwhile, with Mikoshin, they had already arrived with the Queen of Fire named Miyuki. At that moment, a beautiful woman would come out of her castle. Mikoshin, so many hundreds of years without seeing you. Tell me, what brings you to my multiverse? Haven't you felt all the power that overflows through all the megaverses? I had forgotten how paranoid you are. Yes, I have felt these powers, but they're not something that interests me, since they are still very far from my power. If I wanted to finish them with just one of my hands. We can't be uh, confident, uh, because from what I understand, a new creator god's about to appear, but this time he would bring destruction to everything created by the authentic creator god. That's just nonsense. A new creator god cannot be born. Nevertheless, at that moment in all the multiverses, four extremely amazing powers began to be felt. So much was the power that, in this occasion, all the universes, galaxies, spaces, and planets of each one of the multiverses were being destroyed, due to such an abysmal power. At that moment in the distance, a great light of red color could be observed. That's right, the battle of all the warriors had been so devastating that it had been able to even cross the dimensions. The moment that the three warriors would leave the dimension, they were able to observe how Toa didn't leave that place. Toa, do not leave this dimension. Don't worry if the portal closes. I will, with my power, be able to get you out. But if you leave now, the other creator gods will feel your power and finish you. I understand, Master. For this occasion, they have been saved, but the next time that I see them, it'll be very different. At that moment, Toa would return to the dimension of the Fallen Kings. While Goku, Jiren, and Yamoshi were in terrible condition, at that moment, from Goku's body would come out a small energy belonging to Daishenken. Lord Goku of Universe 7 and Jiren of Universe 11, we're sorry for the decision that we took, but all of us were forced to follow the orders of the semi-god creator, Ryui. But we knew that it would be able to leave, so I have left this place so that you're able to take refuge in case of emergency. At that moment, Xenosama's castle would appear again. That's right, with Daishenken's little power, he'd been able to create the castle again. With my spiritual energy as completely worn out, I wish you luck. At that moment, Yamoshi, who was the least injured, would take both warriors and begin to fly quickly through the universe to be able to reach the castle of Xenosama. At that moment, everything would return to normal. This is what I meant, Miyuki. Powers that even surpass the normal level of a king are appearing. This is not normal. Miyuki, a little surprised by all the chaos that the four powers had caused, she would agree with Mikoshin. I understand, Mikoshin. Don't worry, I'll give maximum alert and every king of everything must be prepared. Count on it. Thank you for understanding. We must defend the legacy of the Creator King. Meanwhile, in a very distant place, Ryui was also surprised by the power that was felt. That power was amazing. I can't believe it, but it won't be enough when I ascend to the Creator rank. But I must do it quickly. Ryui at that moment would enter a room which seemed to be a paradise. But in this place, he had planned to recover all his power lost millions of years ago. The sanctuary was built by a creator goddess, so the vital energy is amazing. I'll be able to recover in a few months and finish with the owners of these powers. Returning with Yamoshi after a few hours, he would arrive at the Kingdom of the Hole. At the moment of arriving, he would not be able to let him to any of the rooms, since in that same place, Yamoshi had also fallen out of combat. That's right, the wounds in his body were also serious wounds. Meanwhile, the Dimension of the Kings, Toa was furious, knowing that she wasn't able to finish with the guys who had humiliated her. Toa, you mustn't worry. Remember that revenge must be planned months or even years in advance, or else something will go wrong. Master, I understand, but I can't forgive myself for not being able to annihilate them. Next time we'll finish each one of them. Don't forget that to run, you must first learn to walk. So let's take it step by step. Meanwhile, with Mikoshin, she headed towards her multiverse. But at that moment, she would feel vital energy in Xenosama's multiverse, heading quickly to the place, observing her castle. That's impossible. If her entire multiverse was destroyed, her castle must have been destroyed as well. Mikoshin would approach, and when he was about to enter the castle, a great power would not allow him to do so.
What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well, guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment, and subscribe. Now, without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. Oh,